Hey everyone, welcome to another fun-packed week of Gundam Build Guide. My name is Mew Buster Green, and I am actually the Green Mew Buster from the show The Mew Busters. Okay, first things first, please subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. I am only 115 people from being a monetized channel, and I want this so bad, you guys. We can totally do this if you help me out. This has been one of the best months ever for my YouTube channel, and I really believe we can reach this goal very soon. Anyway, Gundam side, it's a slow news week. Gundam Seed is streaming for free on YouTube if you feel like binging it or just rewatching some reruns. And the only thing new going on in the world of Gundam is that Daisuke Hasegawa released a new Flash of G music video to commemorate the end of the Gino Reconquista movie series. I checked this video out. It's pretty okay. It's actually a completely new musical arrangement of what I think is the same song. That was the ending from the TV series, but it's got a lighter vibe now, which is kind of interesting. Special thanks to my only Patreon subscriber, Spider-Girl55. Okay, now let's go over to Gundam Breaker Mobile, where somehow there's not that much to discuss, but I personally have a lot to discuss. Now there's not that much going on this week. The Strike Freedom is back. Rewards are okay. There is a new scenario mission for the Build Strike Gundam, and I thought I was going to get my ass kicked on this one because I barely updated the suit. I just unlocked it and put it together, and I was broke for reasons I'll get into later. But surprisingly, the Build Strike Gundam is a vicious little powerhouse in a way I really was not expecting. It has shockingly good anti-lock-on backpack counter skill, and that skill seemingly is equivalent to the Lightning Count's counterattack. Except, I think it's maybe a special version. Anyway, I was shocked by how good it did because it completely cancelled out the Wing Gundam Fenice's like, death motorcycle attack. So, really impressed by that. I thought I was dead meat, but I actually got a full reversal and a victory. So, I wasn't expecting that at all. Great fucking battle. Nothing much to say about that. Anyway, let's start from that. There's a new custom mission this week. Here's mine. Expect it to be very, very hard. Now, there's no new banners this week, so there's nothing to discuss on that end. But the anniversary bonuses continue to roll in, and I got extremely lucrative rewards, such as a few dozen new rare parts, and 300 alpha mark material, which I immediately wasted pushing my suits for the gorgeous video challenge even further. Which I suppose I should rediscuss with you all because I got very sucked into it this week. Okay, here's what happened. Monday night, I couldn't sleep. I was feeling sick, and in a rather ill, misguided attempt to figure out when Better Call Saul Season 6 will arrive on Netflix, I randomly stumbled into the Gunner New Type Labs, where I am a popular and well-respected figure. Now, as usual, everyone there was super nice to me. Those are lovely, lovely people. I adore them to death. Anyway, they all urged me to defeat the Gorgeous Video Challenge, which has been a menace to my sanity for several months now. Now, in previous attempts to clear this challenge and scale this mountain, my initial team was utterly outclassed in every possible way, shape, or form, and it completely humiliated me. So I didn't want to take the time, the money, and the effort to fully make a completely 100% picked out team to beat this one stupid mission. So instead, I just kind of put it off because I figured eventually I'd have enough supplies, eventually better parts would come out, and I was also hoping that there would be like a major roof rolling event where like the game would just get a lot easier again and I could just kind of, you know, clown it. But cheered on by all the super nice people, I decided, fuck it, let's roll the dice and see what happens. And alright, if I'm being real with you guys, I could not and did not beat this mission before because you need to make a completely special team just for this one damn mission, and I never finished putting together my version of that team. So after two days of, like, just fucking bashing my skull against it, I'd say I'm 60% there with my team now. I finished constructing my main unit, the G30. It's now a 100% Pierce unit. It gets the job done if it connects, but it's still a paper tiger going into a fucking tiger's den. And what really sucks is that the AI on the suit really, really is like very irresponsible. Now, a few people have told me that I might be able to tank my way through this mission if I add some damage reduction parts to it, but no one has been able to give me any substantial recommendations 
to work with what I'm currently using. After that, the next problem on my team was my buff unit. So my buff unit was originally just a blue ashtray with some like offense up attacks. I wasn't sure if those offense up buffs were actually doing anything, so I switched to more aggressive attack slash heal options, which included buff uh, perks. Now after some uh, tweaking with the build, the buff unit became my strongest gun on the team, sometimes being the sole survivor from all the other bullshit that killed all my other Gundams. Anyway, after reattempting this mission like fucking like 20 times, I pretty much exhausted all my saved up in-game money and a large portion of my in-game energy which I used up grinding up parts and marks. The last problem is my debuff unit, and actually the debuff unit is still a problem because it's clocking way under the other Gundams on my team. Its CP is just too low and a lot of the parts on it need significant marks to unlock their true potential. Frustratingly, I did get up to Gamera Way once by random circumstance. I'm not sure what exactly went right here for me to get up to him. Uh, if anything, it looks like I just got lucky with the Buster Rifle. But I got up to him and I had no support units at the time, so I couldn't survive attacks from his crumbly head with Goldfish and fucking Nasuke. But god damn it, I got so close that time. I think if I go out... I think if I can keep pushing my mark material and pushing my build for the debuff unit, I might eventually put a team together that can do this, but I think I'm still a month off from putting together that team, and now I'm just pissed off with how close I got. Alright, anyway, I'm Neil Buster Green. Please subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next week. Good night.